Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, welcome back to Curse of the Dead Gods. We are going Eclipse of the Cursed Twins, let's make this happen. A glitch spoiled our fun last time, but I'm determined not to let that happen twice in a row. I mean, I guess it's kind of out of my hands if it's a glitch that causes it, but you know. In all the time I've spent playing this game, that is the only game ending glitch I have encountered, so frankly, I'd say that's pretty good. Especially for especially for a game that is, of course, still in development. You know, I mean Only the best for my channel is what I was gonna say there. You know, the only person who should be ending my runs is me, when I, you know, perform some hilariously incompetent, uh, tomfoolery here, as, you know, does tend to happen. Can I kill you before you shoot me? I can. And a keen bow. Perfect shots pierce enemies. That sounds pretty useful. Didn't really look before I left there to make sure I wasn't missing any possible cool side rooms. So, you know, I feel kind of bad about that, but life goes on. Hey, guys, line up so I can practice this feature. There we go. Beautiful. Got the free stooges there all lined up and taken out. Beautifully done. Not getting any more tutorial messages, which make me think that I have actually mastered the tutorial. I wonder if going right would actually be the right way this time. All right, a hammer right off the bat. I'm sorry, Bo, but my heart tells me my heart will always belong to the hammer. Having having said that, of course, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I do like I do like my hammers, don't I? Oh, that's going to be interesting right there. That was a parry opportunity there. That was a parry opportunity there. You know, everything is a parry opportunity in life, is the lesson I have learned from playing this game. Oh, wait, we don't want to set this all off just yet. Okay, probably didn't... Probably didn't want to stun him when I did. All right. Well, I guess, yeah, there's no parrying you, is there? Well, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with, uh, it is, like, in terms of numbers and in its special ability, it is better. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back and read its special ability, you know, or, you know just to make sure that we're all on the same page with uh, what it does. Since briefly skimming what it does is not necessarily the same as actually reading it. Deals critical damage against weakened enemies. I mean, that's not bad, and more damage against burning enemies, which would synergize nicely if we pick up some more burning weapons, but I am going to let it be this time. Also, as far as I can tell, the glitch basically means that the run we did last episode never happened. Which is kind of disappointing. But, that's life. Almost walked on the spikes, thought I was out of range of him there. That was a parry opportunity. You know, the game really wants me to have a dagger, doesn't it? So, you know what? What the heck? Fine. You give me poison, that's good enough for me to switch weapons. Mostly because it encourages my general cowardice and allows me to run away repeatedly. Hello, I've never seen an enemy in here before. You're out of your league, stranger. By which I mean, you know, you're by yourself, lonely and afraid. Kind of like we all are sometimes. Now I feel kind of bad for killing you. 
I'm also playing a little sloppily here, so I think, um... I think I better, uh, call it a day. Oh, once, uh... Once we're done here with this particular episode. I did it! I just had to prove, at least once per episode, that I can actually parry stuff. If I put my mind to it, nothing can stop me. Except my own incompetence. Which does... come back to haunt me more often than you might think. Oh, you're, you're still not done? Well, that worked out. Also, important uh, strategy note here. Um, the dagger does not appear. Dang. Kind of kind of did that one to myself, didn't I? The dagger does not actually appear to stun enemies, or at least with the cross-hand attack. So, that is an important uh, strategic thing to keep note of. Let's see, barb shield. Collects 50% of a parried melee attack's damage back to the attacker. 20% chance to cause fire damage. That's pretty good. 25% uh, chance to automatically trigger a parry. Removes one corruption for each enemy killed. You know what? Let's do it. We've got the money. It's why I, it's why I took the money mutation, if you will. In fact, you know what? If I, if I make a direct comparison, I guess uh, these are kind of like... Uh, Mutations, sort of, but not quite the same as Dead Cells. The difference is, you get to pick all your mutations at the beginning. And it is interesting to think how that could change the way one goes through the game. Oh, hello. Interesting room, full of interesting things. Okay. Nope. Come on over here. Do it, do it, do it now. Wait, I've got a hammer. What am I doing? Well, that worked out. Oh, that was dangerously close. No! Yes, that you idiot. You foolish fool. Oh yeah, I've got a shield. Probably should keep in that in mind. You didn't break all the wall- Oh wait, wait, you've got a hammer. That's right. You, in fact, you were at this very spot right here when you realized that. That wasn't a uh, flaming jaguar head. By which I mean, you know, an activated trap. There we go. It's also interesting to not have a run. That's right, I gotta kill enemies with this shield. So that we don't have corruption. I parried you, you son of a bee! Itch. Not entirely sure. You know, this is a PG-13 channel. I'm sure some light profanity isn't going to offend anyone. You know, unless it does. In which case, you have my sympathies. All right. I mean, not getting cursed is probably pretty helpful. Um... You know what, we've got the money, might as well. Also, we don't have anything yet that scales with either of those stats, so... Got the money, going for both isn't terrible. It's also gonna be interesting to think... Is this starting gold... Is that overpowered, or is it going to be a noob trap? You know, because it might well turn out. But having, you know, we can come back for that later. But having all that extra money is not as useful as one might think. So the charge attack does less damage, but the switcheroo there is that it does stun the enemy and seems to knock them back a bit further. Poison is nice, but let's stick with the shield. You know, might as well 
Uh, we're really, really trying, and by we I mean me, to do things differently. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself that when that uh, joyous day arrives, where we hit the difficulty level that's equivalent to what we faced in the alpha, we will be ready for the hell. I parried the big man himself. And then I almost got cocky. Nope. Don't. And there it was. I, I really tried. But, uh, you know what, maybe, uh, maybe my concern with lowering my corruption... Again, I'm gonna go for both, but, uh, let's, let's be smart about it. In fact, that, that could be the trap. You get all this money, you get stuff early, and everything's, like, super expensive later. And, I mean, ultimately, we still got corrupted. Okay, this, uh... Not the worst. Some enemies lie dormant, hidden within hosts, just waiting for the moment to strike even more unwary prey. Regular enemies can spawn additional critters. I like that. I don't like how low my health is on this run, though, so far. And it's Baron Flippin' Sam Deep. Okay. I don't think these guys give me, a uh, like, reduced corruption. No, on account of them being, uh, like, infinitely spawned minions, and I would probably get kind of cheesy, wouldn't it? Nope. I'm just gonna kill you softly here for a second. Uh, excuse me, I'm not done with you yet. Uh, another good weapon. But I like what we've got so far, but then again, having... Having that bow may have been the wiser choice. Also, just a, like, kind of like a game design philosophy thing I would just like to stop and uh, reflect on for a moment. I like, I kind of like how the gates close behind you so you can't just backtrack to the beginning of the level. And, and these as well. Because they sort of force you to commit, as you're playing, to your build. Whoop. Don't go too far here, Gaslight. And... Get a roll. Yeah, the big thing that's different with this episode or this run, compared to some of what we have been doing in the past, is we have no healing opportunities this time around. But, considering the fact that our previous runs all did have healing opportunities, I would say as an example, and here's a healing opportunity right on schedule. Jet, 10% just for going through a door. That is pretty darn good. Though as we can also see here, I am running out of money, so I have perhaps been a bit frivolous with my coin. Though it occurs to me, this starting money would be good with that one emblem that gives you half again as much gold as you already had when you beat a boss or champion. I'm liking that. Why did I basically roll into the attack? That's a good question. Okay, roll in. Now, some would say that, you know, charging into the darkness in an area where you know that there's going to be traps is a bold and risky move. But, that is just how I, how I roll, isn't it? This was also a pretty straightforward room. Ah, run away, you nasties. Any healing that exceeds max health is turned into gold. So if we actually do really well, then we should get a lot of gold and an extra 20%. So that means that uh, that would be... So that would probably bump us up to healing 
12% if I'm doing my math right. Yeah, so instead of 10%, I'm not even going to try to do the quick math on that, though. That probably, you know, would be a, a nice thing. I'm not a mathematician, man. I I was dangerously close to flunking math in, in university. Almost didn't get into that calculus course. Oh, God. This might be the moment where learning to parry becomes, like, crucial to my survival. Okay, that was kind of dangerous. That was kind of stupid on my part. It's also weird to anyone else that my... Whoop. That my shield does more damage than my actual weapon. I mean, I'm not complaining, mind you. Also, what, well, why am I relying on the shield for this? Oh, dear. Rubajura. What was that? Good question. You almost had me there. And we're actually doing pretty good for ourselves. Oop. Almost lost control of that situation. Let's do a little crowd control while we're waiting. Nope, no, 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 bad, bad maneuvers there. I got the automatic parry. It saved my life. Though I can't help but feel a little cheesy for that, though. I get zero points for this, this boss fight. Did you die, Mr. Bat? Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. All right. I'm actually losing corruption for killing the jaguars. This is an anti-corruption farm. And I am going to ride this for all it's worth. Okay. The genius brain is slowly piecing together what I must do. Okay, that released free, count them free, that into this arena. That is three more bats than I would have liked to see. However, We are one hit away from success. And we're getting a little faster each time. So maybe that's because we're playing with uh, Big Daddy Warbucks' starting stash here. Brave uh, bleh, Breastplate. Which lowers the damage we can take from a single hit. Not bad. And what do you do for me, my good man? 20% 20, 20 chance to inflict poison. 10% damage when in the light. We lose our, our uh, corruption reduction. Which is a bit of a shame, but having said that, I think we're in a good place corruption-wise. So, yeah, let's take it. I mean, being able to poison enemies, that's not a bad thing. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go just straight up. All weapons. Oh, that's right. We heal every time we enter a new room. It's going to be really handy. Okay, is there anything I can do to, uh, lighten the mood a little? The answer appear appears to be no, and yeah, I just, I had to check. I didn't think I could light those, but I did want to make sure. No, 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 no. Thank goodness for being able to cancel. Oh, that was dangerous. Especially because I'm getting better at the whole parrying thing. I think we can all agree on that. But I still instinctually try to avoid parrying. I hate it. With every fiber of my being, man. And roll. 
It's like magic. Okay. This is a scary time to be alive. But we did push him away. So, you know, something is working out here. No, please. I would like to get off. Little bit of poison for you. Actually, you know what? Beautiful. Beautifully done. Nothing is dead yet, though. That's the one... Okay. I did stagger him. I broke his poise. Oh, come on, dude. Just died. Well, and he did listen. Okay, Super Jaguar Club. Which is better in every way than what we have now. Or... Heal 1% and lose corruption every time we kill an enemy, and it does more damage than what we have now. And extra 10% damage for using a shield. So as much as I like you, Mr. Stabby uh, Hammer... Stabby Hammer. Smashy Hammer. Let's play with a mace. Plus, I don't think I've used a mace yet uh, in, you know, since the early access build dropped. So that said... Time to... Time to do better, and with all our money, we are... Well, actually, I think I just spent pretty much all our money, didn't I? I did. Okay. That was dangerous. Like, needlessly dangerous. Oh, this is also the same room type. Where... I like healing, but... Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Nope. <laughs> you also destroyed all of the, uh... Okay, he's almost dead, but not poisoned. Now he is dead. And you are dead as well. Oh, God, no. Please tell me that's not a champion big man. It's all champions, all the time. It's a room full of nothing but champions. God has abandoned the chat. Oh wait, no, big man is not. Large man... ...is not... ...is not, uh... Okay. Okay, well, you know what? I think the important thing there is I didn't lose my cool, didn't get flustered, I just stayed calm, and life, uh, kind of just came together. This also might be the first run where we actually remain curse-free, or corruption-free. Well, maybe not. I mean, we do take 20 corruption per room, and... I don't think there's 20 enemies per room. I could be wrong about that. In any case, this is no time to get cocky. Listen, buddy. You both champions, or elites, you're elites. I gotta learn the terminology for this game. The, the things I've been calling bosses are actually just champions. And, hello. Am I on fire? I think I was on fire for a second there. I might still be on fire, honestly, for all I know. I never left the fire. But that's okay. Because we did kill this annoying sun god idol avatar thing. Tempting. But, uh... But no. Now, if it's synergized by, um, if it's synergized with itself by giving you more damage in the light, that would have actually been pretty cool and might have swayed me. But then again, the 1% healing. Come on over, friends. Let's just get that out of the way right off the bat. Okay, save your stamina.
Dang, I was one second too short. Couldn't keep the combo alive, but at the end of the day, it didn't really matter. And you know what? This build is basically... Hmm. Well, we don't have a bow, so I guess it doesn't make sense to keep the bow mu- Oh. Oh no. Can I uh, hit that without actually entering the room? I can. Oh no. Oh no! I turned the oven on! Well. I'm gonna die before I get out of here. I somehow did not die before getting out of there, but I might as well have. Okay, note to self, Gaslight. Uh, just because you think what you're doing is clever does not mean it is. But you know what? A for effort. It was worth a try. I think... Actually, if I'm seeing that correctly, I think the fire started because of the exploding pots? Maybe? I don't know. Let me know if you feel that's what happened there. That's what I felt happened there. Oh, don't roll into the fire. Come on. Okay. We are healing. Well, that's good. Oh, I poisoned him. I'm gonna say for a second there. It's like, why did he die? But this shield has that potential for poison. Oh, I knew it. Okay, this is this is a room where you want to like be fast and you want to want to keep going over here. I think we're safe. I think. Okay, we are in fact safe here. And it actually, yeah, everything worked out. Is this better than what we have? Strictly speaking, no. But. We have seen how effective the spear is at, um, you know, like, shoving enemies around, having control of the situation. So... It's not to be underestimated, I think. Okay. Let's uh, maybe save our stamina just a little bit. I probably could have finished him off there, but you know what? Let's uh, let's play it safe. Let's see more damage, and especially in the darkness, does more damage against elites, champions, and bosses. Well, why not? Let's go for it. The hammer's good, and I will miss uh, being able to smash walls at will. But then again, I haven't felt too constrained on that front for some time, so I think we're okay. I, I question whether I should have done that. And perhaps I should have picked one or the other. Hello. That doesn't really go anywhere, but uh, you now it's just another part of the temple. Wasn't quite able to avoid a curse, but we are keeping our corruption Ooh, what's this? The more a soul desires, the darker it becomes. Stealing from ancient powers leaves an even darker stain on the greedy. Gold chests now deal corruption when opened. Gold amount looted in chests increases, however. Well, uh, I was saying something about uh, doing a good job at keeping our corruption down. Do I want to just light the pots now? I might, actually. You guys want to all run over here? Help me out? Kind of, but not really. Come on over, friends. Alright. Alright, oh dear. I'm basically two-shotting these enemies, so that's... An example of, uh, you know, just how far we've come in terms of raw power since we started this. You coming for me, bro? 
Oh dear. He was in fact coming for me. He is not my bro, however. Would have been nice if he was. Now if he wanted to help instead of hinder me. I think that was worth it. That was not. Neither was that. Okay. That was worth it, however. Okay, so far so good. We are keeping the combo alive. And we have killed everything that moves. Okay. Now, I have successfully burned out all of our money. And I'm not yet sure whether, um... Whether the burning out of the money is good or not. It seems, at the very least, on these shorter and, like, lower difficulty runs, going for the money is a, a safe, easy choice. However... Sometimes... The safe, easy choice... is actually the uh, less desirable one. Excuse me, sir. In the middle of killing this gentleman, I would appreciate it if you did not interfere. Do I get healed off of you as well? I do. Interesting. So I could theoretically have kept uh, farming that to get back to full health, but I mean, look at our health right now. So, okay, it's this room again. And we've seen what to do here. We know, we know how this rolls. I mean, it did rob me of some of my healing, but, uh, I mean, we're doing pretty good, so I, I can't really complain, would you? I can't really complain. As long as, uh, Mr. Samdi does not get himself, uh, caught in a wall again, he should be okay. And to ensure that ends up being the case... Oh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, make sure he's the first one to go. You know, there are some days, I have to admit, where I, I really wish my instincts for parrying were a bit more finely owned. Owned? Honed? Whatever word I'm trying to- you know what, I'll curse myself. I mean, it's only 15 curse. How bad could it be? I think we'll keep with this. I mean, especially because that extra damage from having it around is too good to pass up, and we're going to end up losing our corruption at the end of this anyway, so we're perfectly fine, and oh god, it's an oven. This is the one level where you really don't want to... Oh god, no, not... No, I'm doing it wrong. I've got to push him into the fire. Yeah, you get back there, buddy. Don't have time to kill you properly. Okay, friends. Let's do this thing. Which we actually seem to be doing quite well so far. We could just push him into the fire. He is on fire now. Okay, life is treating us exceptionally well. I mean, I'm starting to get, like, a certain sense of, like, being an imposter. Like, I shouldn't be doing this well. But I am. So, you know. Deal with it. Self. Is there anyone else hiding in the darkness? No, that's it? Okay. And since this is basically the end of the run anyway... Well, that would have been really helpful earlier. Uh, let's see here. That's still good. Would this... Would this actually apply while I'm, uh... I don't think that's gonna help us. Weakened enemies, weakened enemies... I'm going to go with this because it gives us more dexterity. Which I, I feel is good enough for what we're trying to do. Alright, 
New enemy. Also, curse me, I have not even attempted to use the Titan Slayer yet, so... Let's, uh, whip this baby out. Hello, you are... You are! The lady. Okay, we want to break those where possible. Ah, you... I was going to try pairing you, man. Why couldn't you work with me? Okay. Nope. I, I can't parry you. Is uh, the impression I got from that. Okay, break those so I don't get set on fire. Clear some space. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That, that I could parry. Don't burn all your stamina. Okay. I parried you like a boss. That I didn't parry, and I'm going to be punished for it. As I, as I should, and I got corrupted. Okay, this is where it gets hard. Nope. Okay, let your stamina recover. Nope, please don't. Okay, don't let her hit you because... I thought I parried her there. Why am I practicing parrying now of all times? No, no, oh no. I could not roll. I got stuck. Okay, but I am seeing now that what happens is she changes uh, stance. Every now and then. Okay. I think the faster weapon would have been better. Alright. That's probably the one time where not parrying would have been the better play. But we actually did pretty well for ourselves, so hopefully next time we'll get her. And that's like only the third time I've faced her. So, until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I'll see all you in the next video.